Hello, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Way, and I want to take the chance to personally thank you for signing up for a Touch Plus account. It helps us out so much, and hopefully we can return the favor. So over the course of maybe an hour, maybe two hours, I'm going to teach you how to take a finished PSD file from Photoshop. We're first going to convert it to HTML, a working HTML template, and then we're going to take that and take it further and turn it into a dynamic WordPress theme. So we're going to be covering quite a bit, but hopefully I can do it without stumbling on my words too much. So I developed kind of a simple theme that we're going to be working with. Let's go into Photoshop. This is a real world theme, very similar to what you might use. And let me just clear this up. I don't have much real estate. Let me zoom out. And this is kind of what I came up with. Nothing too advanced, but nothing too simple either. So it's a simple blog. Uh, this would be for maybe a personal site for me or for anyone. You're welcome to use this theme when it's finished, however you like. I don't care. Uh, so just, you know, we have a sidebar with maybe some Flickr photos, recent entries using images or popular entries, uh, follow account for Twitter, and then postings. So this is kind of the mock-up. Uh, I turned it into HTML and WordPress already. That way we have something to work off of. And if I open up Firefox, let me close this out. This is what I ended up with. So you can see it's pretty, pretty close to our original PSD. Nothing was changed too much, if anything. Come on back. So we have our links, but you know, it's, it's not dynamic yet. It's all static here, but we have our basic layout. So good. Then I took that and turned it into a complete WordPress template. So it's not 100% complete. I'm thinking, well, it actually is complete, but I'm hoping maybe in a future tutorial we'll take things even further and start uh, plugin development and uh, custom templates and things like that. So you can see a few changes here. I thought this one might, was a little too pale. You can see here is just not much uh, contrast. So if I close this out, you can see I darkened up. Whoops. One more time. Anyways, I darkened up the uh, the top navigation section and I set the heading background to match. We added much more padding on the sidebar just to um, just to give the text some room to breathe and just added more contrast overall and darkened the text. A few areas, I changed the Flickr. So this is pulling in from uh, Flickr.com. Uh, popular tag, so if I click on this, it'll bring up all the, the, the postings that have that particular tag. If we open up a, uh, these are our popular postings. We're using a plugin to accomplish that. If we view popular posts, you can see here, this is actually a sample tutorial that we're going to be posting on NetTouch by Harley Alexander. So we come here, we have some nice styling for our images. Scroll on down, we're using a plugin for uh, code editing or code entering, things like that. And then we have a nice uh, comment section. So we actually have a little cool uh, feature to add the arrows without images. I actually covered that on NetTouch not too long ago. And a reply form. So pretty nice. Nothing too advanced, but I think it came out just fine. And for the sake of this tutorial, it's going to be perfect. And we also have a search form. I kept this as minimalistic as possible. It just brings up the links and you can view them like so. Pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Hopefully we can get it done within two hours. So this has been your introduction. Continue on to lesson two.